You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Rafa Rose. What's up, my man? Dude. Ruben. I know. It's been so long. It's been <laughs> Yeah. It's been so long. It's crazy. I feel like usually I see you all the time and now I'm not seeing you at all. I know. <laughs> like I hung out we hung out together like right before I got serious. Mm-hmm. Like we met up and like I know. Went over, just fucked around. Yeah. And uh Dude, yeah. It feels like a lifetime ago now. Yeah. <laughs> what was that like February? <laughs> Yeah, no, oh, that feels like a long Dude, time ago. Such now. a long time ago now, and Quar- yeah, man, Quarantina, <laughs> the Quarantina. <laughs> what have you What have you been up to? Uh, working. Um, I still have a job, thankfully. Oh, and that's then nice. yeah, it's nice. Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice. I know. <laughs> I feel lucky. <laughs> but um, and then yeah, spending a lot of time alone, which is uh, honestly, I feel a little bad saying this, but it's nice. Yeah, of course. And, uh, I mean, it's not nice, everything that's happening, but <laughs> I feel like I'm good spending time alone. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. Um, that's been like, I'm used to being alone. So I like being alone. Yeah. And it's yeah. like starting to get to me. I'm like, wow, I'd, I'd like to go see my girlfriend, but also yeah, it's not really possible right now. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I definitely, yeah, I've basically just been spending time, um, like working on little things, yeah, projects and such. Um, Working on some new songs, which I'm stoked on. That's cool. Yeah. How many how many songs do you have now? Um, I think I've got like four, four for sure that are done, and then we'll see how many more. I've got like a lot of other yeah, little yeah. little ideas or, yeah. or things, but yeah, it's I I think like for me having the extra time to just um like explore some new sounds has been nice for me. Just mm. um. Yeah, like not really ne- necessarily like with a goal in mind, mm-hmm. just kind of exploring some, yeah, just like putting different sounds together and yeah, figuring out stuff. So it's been nice. And you're know. living with uh, Michael, who plays drums yeah. for Rafa Rose. Yeah, yeah. So Michael. that's like nice to have around, you know. Yeah, He's I know. Like Michael and I actually got to experiment with like recording drums mm-hmm. in, a, in a way that I hadn't before. So I'm stoked. Um, well, how, how are you recording drums now? Um, so, well, before I guess I had, um, well, r- Eric really helped with the drums on the last yeah. record. So, um, and that, the Rogers kit that he has, uh-huh. right, um, sounds so nice. And, um, yeah, I love the drums that he helped get, but, mm-hmm. um, Michael kind of has his own style. And I mean, it's just like the classic, like two or three mics mm-hmm. on a, on the kick, um, kick and then kick and snare snare and and then so we're trying um, two mics, like kind of a snare area mic and then a low tom area mic. Okay. And then... Um, something for the bass drum. And then something for the so bass like drum. So three mics, yeah. Yeah, so three okay. mic setup. But um, but we we spent a lot of time kind of like tinkering with the positioning. Yeah. And, uh, which was nice because I feel like usually I don't have that luxury of time where you just get to play with the sound. And yeah. so I feel like that's been really nice where we're just... We don't go into it with any expectation. We're just sort of, with the only expectation is we're gonna record the drums, Uh but we kind of figure out the sound as we go. So it's it's been nice, and I've got the Lord's board all plugged in. Yeah, yeah. What? So tell us a little bit about the Lord's board. The Lord's board is a, it's a board. It's like an old Sun twelve channel board that I rescued from a dumpster behind a church. There you go. And uh, it's uh, this amazing amazing plate reverb on it Mm. and um yeah it just sounds it sounds really (laughs) kooky like it sounds really old and um dirty and and awesome yeah yeah uh it's nice because i'll just i mean you know going right into the computer sometimes just i don't know and my computer's so old now so like none of my none of my uh plugins work (laughs) So so it's funny because I set this up with the intention of of using it because I was excited to use it and then thought, oh, and then I can always clean stuff up afterwards. But now I'm like, what I record is what I got mm-hmm. because I, I can't yeah, edit anything yeah. on oh my own my now. <laughs> um, it feels which, like there's like a natural compression on that thing, too. Yeah, there Just definitely like, is. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So that thing's nice. It's funny because it was used for like a broadcast for the church Mm. so each each channel is labeled with like a different it like used to be an fm broadcast 
and each channel is labeled with a different like pulpit or like <laughs> choir it's so funny yeah you can't so. remove that kind of stuff right? I, I honestly there's one that's missing yeah and i'm not gonna take any of the other ones off <laughs> i'm just gonna let it let it be what it is because it's yep. the lord's board you know oh man okay so you guys have been doing drums that way and yeah mm-hmm. and and we've been experiment um, experimenting with like different drum setups too um uh just you know instead of bringing the whole kit into the room yep. like just bringing the different sounds that we want to get mm. you know snare with the a tambo on it mm-hmm. or like um yeah like one of the setups was just like snare tambo hi-hat one cymbal and a tom and mm. that was it and the, and and when you listen to the drums it sounds like a it sounds like a full kit, but a little weird. Yeah. But it wasn't a full kit. So I don't know. I, I like the sound that we got with That's it. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It sounds really good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you heard he, it. Because yeah, you've yeah. been sending me, uh, we've been kind of working in the new normal here. The new normal. The new normal <laughs> with like sending, well, I guess ba- I've heard of bands doing this. So this Dude, is that's how like the postal exactly. service. Yeah. Yeah. Did. You're just it's sending like, stems over. New, yeah. And then I bring, the, I get the stems and I, I bought Pro Tools. Not exactly uh, for this, but it, it fucking sucks. I'm done, yeah. I'm done I honestly, with Pro Tools, Pro Tools sucks. I'm kind of. St- kind of stuck with it for the next year it's industry standard but uh, not my standard the standards gonna have to change standards kind of low honestly yeah this <laughs> like if that's industry standard yeah, please th- have higher standards <laughs> yeah the standard's super fucking low i hate it, it it's not my my tom whom um who my, makes, tom. my tom my <laughs> tom no other, no he's, no other he's uh you know he's everybody's well i don't know <laughs> if he's everybody's tom but <laughs> certainly not just mine um but tom who mixed and uh mastered my album uh the uses album, pro yeah. tools yeah the first yeah um he he loves pro tools and he like has all the shortcuts down so i think if you have all the shortcuts down he, yeah I well don't know. here's why not is, to get too techy here's <laughs> here's what i think is ridiculous like i went blindly into video editing in photoshop with absolutely no experience yeah i'm a musician and i still didn't get pro tools yeah that. i should have an easy like i yeah. know how to do this i could i, think, I should yeah. learn this it's like i went in blindly to premiere and i think i'm decent like yeah i, can, I figured it out right like, it's like just you about can getting... make something in it yes yeah yeah pro tools you oh, can't man. just plug and play it's not fun no and i don't know why it's like that but they gotta do they gotta do something about that so what i've been doing now is you send me the tracks and i youtube how to do this because oh, i was struggling yeah. so i, I was the- wondering about this because i was like how did how did ruin get me these guitar tracks <laughs> <laughs> so i download them i save them to um a garage band file on the ipad yeah and then when i go back into garage band on ipad um i set the limit so it has a continuous recording yeah and you know that little loop yeah it pops up with a number and then you can click it and you can drag your track into track one the thing I just downloaded into that file, you just pinch it and drag it, and then there oh. it is. Wow. And then I just record on top of that. It took me a while, and That's I, cool. had, I had to YouTube it, but you can do it. Yeah, you can you can upload stems onto a onto mobile the iPad, GarageBand. Yeah. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, some of the stuff I've sent you has been actual guitar. Yeah. With the amp, I tried that for one track. I was okay with it, but then the other stuff is just plugging my pedals directly into the IO Dock too. Nice. That's honestly sounds like, yeah, you need It's really hard. Or you need like a (laughs) interface of some kind to plug inputs into. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it sounds cool. I mean, I'm, I've, I've been stoked on the way that it sounds so far. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's, you know, we're making it work, man. Making it work. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are doing that now. Yeah. Like just kind of working on sending, sending each other stuff. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, I think everyone's just bummed that there's no shows this year. That's like. (laughs) Which I'm super bummed about. That's really bumming me out, man. Yeah, I know. It's funny because I was I was hoping to share the album live a lot this year. Yeah, like this was kind of like I'm gonna play and it we, out for people. You know, we played a lot of shows. We played a good amount a of shows, but shows, yeah. yeah. But ah, there could have been more. There could have been more. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, during this time, if I if I would have known that last trip up to the Bay Area with you was gonna be like the last trip. Yeah, I know. What the fuck. I know. I would never have guessed that. Really, me either. That was February. Yeah. Those little, those three little dates with Stephen. Yeah. Yeah. Oakland to Lompoc to yeah. Santa Barbara. Man, I know. What a trip. Thinking that was back, we had no idea. Had no idea. <laughs> and the virus was probably there when we were there. So. 
in the Bay Area. Yeah, yeah. probably was there totally when you was. were there. Yeah, yeah. All oh those my God! Motherfucking travelers bringing the virus over here. Seriously. They're like optimistic, like, oh, I'm going to go have fun abroad. <laughs> and then you then you infect like a whole country. <laughs> Can you imagine? I heard a story about one. Not to, I don't want to talk about coronavirus. No, I, I hate every podcast that's been bitching about no, coronavirus. No, you know what? We're going to stop right there. No, no, no. Well, t- the tell the story. story. Okay, the one story that I, this is the only one I'm going to tell. But there was a story just about a woman who was doing a bunch of destination weddings okay. who had coronavirus okay. and was spreading it. Oh, shit. And I'm just like, is the destination, <clears throat> is that, who, who even goes to the yeah, destination Yeah, isn't that the wedding? biggest inconvenience? Like a destination, like seriously? And could you imagine having a guest that has like a, like, like the virus of the, of the world's <laughs> worst <laughs> pandemic for the, I was for just like thinking of like your years. everyday rudeness. Like, yeah. That's oh, yeah. kind of fucking rude. Like, <laughs> yeah. don't invite me to a destination wedding because I won't go unless the destination's like reasonable yeah it's like we're going to india i'm not <laughs> you can you are <laughs> you're you can do that because i'm not going yeah i don't know i would maybe go to it i don't know i've actually i don't think i've ever been invited to a destination wedding have you been to a wedding uh yeah oh I've, yeah I've been yeah to, I've been oh yeah to I've been, before, I've been yeah. to, uh, we were at i was DJing that wedding yeah um i know wedding djs must be hurting all yeah, all these. Or what are they hurting. doing at home? Like, uh, hey, everybody, hey. this is the last song. <laughs> oh my god! When you're just at home and you're just like, all right, uptown funk, let's go. I know they're still spinning those like oh, overplayed tracks, but god. just alone. It's been brutal, dude. Wow. I've been getting a lot of Facebook ads for like, um, just like live stream solutions. Yeah. Yeah. It's I know. just like try this, and you plug your guitar directly into your phone. Like, it sounds fine. It's like, but meanwhile, Apple got rid of the headphone jack. So how do they do that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> exactly, exactly, man. I just I don't know. I think I think a lot of different um, solutions, company things are gonna pop around for live streaming and stuff like that. But I don't know. I yeah. saw another key thing. It's like a, a little keychain thing you use to open doors. So there's gonna be like a lot of innovation that way. Yeah. But like. It's not the innovation I want, you know? I want, I want like, a vaccine. I think I want them. <laughs> yeah, I want a vaccine. Yeah. I want, like, a vaccine <laughs> less of, like, a keychain that can open doors. Like, like that's the easy. That's a little Band-Aid. Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> that's just a Band-Aid. Like, now you don't have to touch things. Honestly, dude, like, if they figure out how to make more money with this virus, yeah, don't doubt that they will just, yeah, they will just keep the economy running like that. We'll get ourselves into the predicament where then we can't have the vaccine. That's Cause, true. Because the economy is adapted to <laughs> <laughs> the keychains and, oh, and live stream, like yeah, crap like that. Have you been looking into Twitch at all? I haven't, but I I've seen people on Twitch and Patreon. I feel like yeah. those are the spots. Patreon that... blew up, like say maybe six months ago, or maybe a year ago. Like if I started a Patreon, I was like, oh, it might be fun. Who knows? And yeah. other people, I think around that I talked to, were just like oh, Patreon. Yeah. You're like begging your fans for money. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, but now I see everyone has one yeah, now. You know? I know, it's funny. It's not really begging. You're providing a, like, a, you know, a service. You know? Yeah. And I you're think you're providing art, you know? Yeah. I think it's, it's probably a little bit just a better, oh, uh, you gives you a little bit more control over like distribution. Mm hmm. Um, but I mean, yeah. No yeah. judgment on Patreon. I think no. it's good. I think it's fine. And, like, especially in the quarantine, it was, like, it gave me something to look forward to. Like, oh, I got to do that mix. Yeah, Oh, it's totally. April. Oh, it's yeah. May. I got to do the mix. Like, what am I going to put on it? Like, when you, put a, when you put a mix on the Patreon, can you just listen to it on the Patreon, or do they uh-huh. have to download it? You can listen oh, that's to it. nice. You could just stream it on Patreon. Oh, that's cool. I so guess the app, I guess so. That's cool. Yeah, I hope people are doing that. I know. I also, shout out to Bandcamp. Yeah. Bandcamp's, Bandcamp's been doing a little bit more. Yeah, well, uh, I guess it's like every first Friday of every month. They're yeah, do first that Fridays they're doing while. waving their revenue, which is cool. I don't know. I saw some posts that. Oh, were really? Well, I'm rather negative about that. Oh, uh, in that case, you kind of are begging for money. Cause, cause it ends up being <laughs> like there's still like some kind of fees on it. There's always some kind of fee. I know. But but nothing's free. If like, you're selling a track for a dollar and someone downloads your track, you're not getting that dollar. You know? You're not getting a you're dollar. Getting, like, the fifty cents. I know. I want a cash only music distribution service. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I want to see the green just exchange. 
go back to just CDs and tapes <laughs> at a shady record store where they only take cash. I saw some people like, you know, they're, they're just saying like, Bandcamp's a great website. And it is. It's a great website. But like, you know, it's definitely better. They're like, it's definitely better than just like emailing me and I hand you MP3s. I was like, I kind of like that. Yeah, I email want, me, I hope, Venmo me, and then yeah. give me your email, and I'll send you the MP3. I'll send, I directly will send you the MP3s. With the, with the art, with I, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to. I want to see some really like bootleg shit like that go down. I want people to stop yeah, using man, the normal. Black market. I want to see a black market for the that kind of shit. Market for music distribution. Yeah. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, hit absolutely. me up. Fully, yeah. My Venmo. Yeah, hit my Venmo. Hit my yeah. Venmo, and then in the comment section, give me your email, and I'll send you the tracks. Oh, comments, email in the comments. Now that's bold. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. But you know, you make them all private. <laughs> what the comments? The transactions. Oh, the transactions. Yeah. So no, you know, have you ever looked at your Venmo like friends? History? Oh, your friends? Like your feed? You know, you know, there's like a feed on there Venmo, is a feed. which there doesn't need to I be. I don't understand it. Yeah, I have looked at it. And it's, it's pretty weird. It's honestly too normal for me. I know. It's like, well, I just... That's I why know. I like to put weird shit when I pay people. I know, but... I like to put something weird. But you know it was feed. normal. You know it was a normal thing that now you're just trying to make not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. like wet emoji, lips emoji. Like, damn, yeah. what'd they get into? Yeah. They did a crazy weekend. Meanwhile, Snapchat like tries to play like it is normal, but it's the most wild. Dude, Snapchat is not good, and I need to get off it. <laughs> <laughs> snapchat's crazy yeah it's nuts wow is anyone using it still i don't know i, I don't someone just asked me it. to send them a video via snapchat the other Why? day so because the away? resolution was higher and i was like damn I, I get it is that true uh it was true oh for for him for that video that i sent him <laughs> is it true in every case oh I don't you know. could send it through instagram it's true i don't think he has i've instagram. noticed that because i've been you know i'm on tiktok yeah, how is TikTok? TikTok? Amazing. It's good? It's addicting as all hell. That's But funny. you can download certain videos. Like, if people allow that, oh, you can really? download their TikToks. And oh. if they're funny, I send them to people. But I sent one to my mother, and she's like, I can't see that. Because, it, you know, it gets compressed through text. Oh, yeah. So, you're kind of fucked Dang. up. Dang. But I've been loving TikTok, man. It's That's cool. Fun. I've been I've I've been enjoying like posting on there too. Like, yeah. I don't, I, you can, po- I feel like I can just post a lot. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. Right. Because the fee is just so chaotic. Yeah. Yeah. It's chaos on that platform. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. But I love it. That's awesome. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's a lot of uh, hanging out. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing a radio show, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tell me about the radio show. So, uh, Michael and I are doing a show on KCSB. So, we're on cool. the Sunday. Uh, on a Monday. No. Ju- now <laughs> it's Sunday. Sunday. On a Sunday, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's called No Talent, and it's from noon to 2 p.m., Cool. Every Sunday. And uh was this something you guys were gonna do before the quarantine or did it just come around? Uh I had subbed a couple of shows. I used to have a show on KCSB a while yeah. ago and So you're um, just on the list. So I was on the list for a long time and I would just occasionally sub shows whenever I feel like, felt like it. But yeah. um I think they were well, they were putting out the call for, for shows and I had been talking to Thomas who set up those shows at the uh, Merton House. Yeah. And about getting back into it and he was like oh you should you should and i had been feeling like i wanted to have a show again and then i asked michael if he was down to have the show with me because you know living together it's like we can just get together and yeah make make some playlists um and uh and do yeah you, do you guys talk a lot uh we talk we no, we don't talk that okay, much yeah, i mean yeah. we talk a little bit but most of the show most of the show is just the music that's cool um yeah it's nice i mean occasionally we'll we'll banter but the occasional banter. The occasional banter. That's what I live for. Yeah, it's yeah, it definitely is. A, it's an eclectic show. Like we play cool. everything. So yeah, it's nice because I used to have a world music show. Yeah, and it just felt a little limiting sometimes. The world feels a little the limiting. The world, <laughs> believe it or not, world music is a genre. Yeah. Sometimes, no, it's awesome. I would play a lot of like weird stuff, but I sometimes I just felt like I just want to play anything anything that I want to yeah so. yeah that's yeah. where the eclectic <laughs> kind of show comes into yeah like. and it's nice too because like occasionally I'll just have like a deep dive on one thing like yeah I played and you can do that you know yeah mm-hmm. yeah I played like a uh, whole bunch of lovers rock mm. which is like um the 80. clash uh no, the clash no, they have a song called lovers rock oh do they yeah oh nice it's no great. wow I gotta yeah. hear it no yeah. lovers rock it's like the genre of reggae kind of like 80s 90s mm. romantic 
like weird production, like a lot of weird drum sounds and weird synths. So I love it. Like, yeah, I wonder if there's a there's probably a connection there then. There has to be because they like I know their label sent like the Clash and the Sex Pistols down to Jamaica to learn to about record, reggae. to learn how to play and find bands. Oh, find me reggae bands. Oh wow, yeah, as like N A and R like de facto. Whoa, you know, just going down there, checking it out. Checking it out. Yeah. Wow, that's good. checking out the scene in Jamaica. Cause, yeah, because then the Clash changed too. I think like. Reggae was like, if you listen to a lot of those like seventies, like maybe like like John Lennon incorporated some reggae into like his mid seventies. Yeah, and like Paul McCartney, like incorporate like you know you kind of hear that was like a, you don't think about it now because like, it's just reggae. Yeah, but that was crazy. There was a pre reggae and a post reggae in yeah. you know the UK and, and the United States. And yeah, for it sure. Changed for everything. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know it's uh, a lot of my coworkers are older than me and talk about like. I heard one of them talking about how he, lo- he used to love reggae, like yeah. in that time. Yeah. And one of his friends was, I guess, super racist and was like, "Why mm. are you listening to that kind of music? Whoa. Like, you you shouldn't be listening to that." Whoa. And I was like, "About reggae? That's like the most <laughs> chill music. Like, why would like now everybody's like, <laughs> you see, I know. Santa Barbara like the lives on reggae, white like, boy reggae. That's it. Yeah. So it's funny to hear those stories and be like, well, are things better? I don't know. It was a different time. It was a different time." Yeah. But yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, so I get to do deep dives into like whatever strikes my fancy, which is nice. That's cool. Yeah. Um Yeah, and it's fun doing it uh the way we're doing it. We're just recording at home. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot more relaxed than going into the station and like logging all the information yeah. and um Oh yeah, you don't have to do any of that like paperwork. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It's it's kind of nice. <laughs> is there someone there at the station right now? Uh, currently, like this moment, I don't know. No, <laughs> Should I we mean, call like, in? <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, someone who, yeah. uh, I don't know. I like, think there who is. Who do you send the MP3s to and then how does it get Oh, there? it's like, they figured out a system with yeah. a bunch of, I mean, you know, the, the people who run it yeah, are, are organizing the, like getting all the, the files from all the, for all the shows and yeah. And you have a deadline and you submit by a certain date. So it's a good system actually. What happens if you don't submit or they just don't play your show <laughs> they got other things they can play i think yeah yeah that's crazy just throw a record on <laughs> <laughs> someone's gotta be there. side a and side b yeah 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 i don't know um yeah i mean i've kept to the deadline so <laughs> <laughs> i'm not trying to find out <laughs> oh shit uh, that's cool man yeah yeah I think it's that's, fun. Just, that's another fun thing just to like keep something going on i think you kind of yeah i don't know i i also have this habit of like wanting to keep busy yeah so yeah it's like i don't know it's hard for me not not to do anything yeah there was a week actually where my job was closed and Mm. i did nothing (laughs) i absolutely did nothing do welcome to my life yeah it was crazy um before this i was just playing gta yeah (laughs) yeah breath of the wild has been great oh nice yeah um yeah, but I actually haven't been playing as many video games as I thought I would. Yeah. Um, yeah. Honestly, I've been like outside more. It's, it's been nice. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Like every morning, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna eat some breakfast and take a walk, and I nap. <laughs> the most I do is I run at San Marcos. <laughs> oh, like, that's I'll like, go to the high yeah, school yeah. And, and I'll just run there. Nice. Um, but they locked everything, so I'll, I got like a little yeah. routine. So you got like bolt cutters. You know that incline <laughs> ramp going up to the softball? Yes, dude. I yeah. run that. Oh, that's sick. <sighs> Kicks yeah. your ass after a while. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That shit's But other than that, like, you know, just staying busy. Yeah. The, the huge. The huge. As the, busy as the I new can, normal. you know. As just busy like, as you can, yeah. Yeah. My my last project was kind of just, like, digging through all the disposables. Oh, like, nice. Is there single art here? Like, yeah. Is there anything Ooh. I can repurpose here? Yeah. Um, Collage. <laughs> Collage art? Yeah. Collage art. Yeah, so uh, I just finished like three single arts. Yeah. Oh, cool! Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that's so. really nice. I don't know, man. I gotta figure out this album art thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. The album. The it's album coming. Art. I need the, the album, album art. art. Yeah. It's master. It's everything. I just need the album art. Oh, dude. Yeah. That's exciting, though. It's getting close. <sighs> Who knows? I'm excited. I'm excited too. Those songs sound good. That's the thing. Like you know, when the process of making a record, it's like. 
it, it goes up and down. I love this record. I fucking hate this record. Yeah. This record's awesome. This record's shit. Yeah. And you're catching me on a moment where I think the record's pretty good. You know? <laughs> nice. That's <laughs> good. Yeah. I think it's if good. If you ask me tomorrow, it could be shit. You know? <laughs> the, uh, but the nice thing about this quarantine is that it, th- this like sense of competition between all the bands, I think, has died a little bit. Yeah. Like everyone's more solidarity. Are, no one's like, you know, you can't be on Instagram and seeing bands like, yeah, solidarity. Like we're all kind of like, feels like we're all kind of in this together instead of being like how come they're on that tour how c- like uh, uh, yeah which is like a trap you can easily get into and like i don't know it just feels nice like yeah everyone's relaxing you don't have plans i don't have plans let's just survive yeah. <laughs> the yeah. next couple months and dude seriously who knows 2021 it's all for 2021 now yeah. 2020 it's so funny what a just man what a year yeah so man. far oh it's crazy yeah i don't know man Imagine playing New Year's Eve. I know. So, I, I think about that. How we're like, oh, 2020. And uh, then and then everyone there is just now at home. Yeah. Hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. It's crazy. It's been crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Other than that, people have been nice uh, online. Nah, yeah. stuff and like people are actively buying things, which is cool. And That's sick. People just trying to, uh, trying to be out here and support. Support the arts. Nice. Know? Support yeah. the arts. <laughs> I'll never forget that pirate. Yeah. Um, my girlfriend, Jenny, and I were, like, taking a walk on the pier in Santa Barbara, and some pirate uh, was playing a few tricks for her. And, like, one of like them Like a magician pirate. Like a magician yeah. pirate. Yeah. Yeah. Hybrid. A uh, hybrid. <laughs> hybrid pirate. A hybrid pirate. And he asked her to finger and blow him. And she was like, what? <laughs> and then uh, he had this, like, little handkerchief, and you got to finger him, and then you blew it. <laughs> and it was gone. Wow. And then we were like, great trick, man. And we left. He was like, support the arts. Like asking for money. Yeah, for yeah. donations. <laughs> looking for donations and asked us to support the arts. We you should have gotten a Patreon. Listen, we are the arts. <laughs> we are the arts. You're talking to the arts right here. Um. Yeah, start a Patreon, dude. Yeah. Wow. Start a I podcast. Want, I want, yeah. <laughs> a a podcast with the peer music, the peer pirate. Dude, I'd love to have that guy on the pod. Magician, dude. Yeah. Yeah, have that guy. Yeah. No, it wouldn't be bad. <laughs> I don't think he would have any self control. Like, well, I spend about eight hours on that pier and then I drive up to, <laughs> I drive down to Santa Monica. I spend eight hours at that pier. Oh, my God. Just up and down the coast on the piers. Yeah. The Ventura Pier? Possibly. Gotta hit them all. There's not much going on in the Ventura Pier. I don't know, man. Dude, what's your thoughts on uh, July 4th being canceled? July 4th being canceled. Well, I mean. Had some pretty offensive tweets. We had to cancel July 4th. Oh, really? (laughs) No. Oh, oh. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Tweets from 1776. (laughs) Not not a good look, man. Oh, my God. Officially canceled. Officially canceled. Yeah. Yeah, in the normal sense, though. No. I mean, well, maybe. People are trying to cancel it. The other way too. <laughs> We're trying to cancel the independence. Oh man, yeah. Um, I think that I'm excited to see if people take to the streets with their own fireworks display. Oh, you know the West Side will. The West oh, Side, yeah. Santa Barbara, and East Side. Yeah, true. That's crazy. Yeah, and I bet Galita will too. This one's for the locals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no. Um, I think I I'm neither here nor there on that. Do you like going down there, checking out those fireworks? <laughs> Um, it's fine. I th- I think I've done it like a couple times. I think for me, it's more about just like I love the energy of a massive crowd, so I'll just yeah, go walk yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But that's not going to happen. Hell so. no, that's not going to happen for a long time. So I'm not, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not like s- that sad about it. <laughs> yeah, to be yeah. totally honest, like, <laughs> um. I mean, I think we all knew it was coming. Like, it wasn't a surprise for but me. But when is Fiesta like, being canceled? <laughs> no, that's the thing. Yeah, that's what that's I want to know. That's the big one. That's, that one's going to shake <laughs> Santa Barbara to its core. Yeah, the mission will have a big crack in it. Dude, yeah. yes. I know. Fiesta people will canceled. lose their minds. <laughs> I think people will lose their minds. Yes, I already saw some people in the comments section. Just keep the parade. The parade's the worst part. <laughs> is there a parade? For the 4th of July, yes. Oh, wow. And for There's Fiesta. so many parades here, dude. I know. Not this year. The parades are legit the worst part. You don't go to Fiesta for the parade. You might. Um, a lot of people Well, as, as a kid, we used, to, we used to go every year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I personally don't. Ooh. I think I've been lucky to be gone the past few years, though. We missed it, yeah. 
uh, yeah, we were on tour with Somersault. Yeah. For last Fiesta, so we completely missed that one. Yeah, that, that was crazy. That was worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I don't know what happened the year before. But yeah, they're yeah. definitely canceling all that shit. <laughs> Although they are reopening. I mean, if we're talking about... Now we're talking about local local events. Yeah, yeah. They're reopening State Street. A couple blocks. Oh, yeah. You could walk around, huh? You can walk around. Yeah, they paid some Which guy, I think they need they to paid just... paid some guy $26,000 to come up with the idea. Oh, as we've all of been, course. As we've all been saying. It, of course. It's fun. Yeah. Just listen to the it people. Just, it's well, okay. I think sometimes people have to spend money to feel good about... A decision. A decision. Yeah. Which... That's, they hired some developer twenty like twenty six thousand dollars to come up with that brilliant idea. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, d- I don't doubt it. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Santa Barbara's crazy. Santa Barbara's crazy. Santa Barbara's crazy. Uh, when you think about playing in venues again, like, what's your fears? Are you afraid of playing in a venue again? Or um, it's kind of different because we can hide in the green room, you know. Yeah. Or being in a van. Yeah. You know, I am um, to town to town. I know. It's it's hard to say. I don't think I would be afraid if I don't know, man. I mean, it's hard like I think really when you ask me that question what comes to my mind is like a club that's a clean room yeah. that everyone gets their own oxygen supply yeah. and the mix is done wirelessly. So everyone has like wireless headphones. Wow. That's really future. And it's super futuristic. futuristic and oh, like, shit. yeah. And you can and like, you're not trying to tour it till 2030 then. Yeah. That's yeah. like, that's <laughs> like 20. Yeah. 2034. Yeah. 3034 yeah. even. God damn. Yeah. Uh, so that's like what comes to my head is like, what would be a safe performance yeah yeah you know like a you full can, clean dude, room you pull out your smartphone and you can adjust your own mix yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. And now finally everyone gets to have the, the drums be loud the vocals louder Ooh, yeah 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 people reverb. can just like mute everything else and just listen to the vocals dude you know? that'd be fucking crazy that would be pretty crazy you just invented something then yeah i mean you heard it here first yeah this video is the evidence of that this when they our, steal this the is our living document yeah our copyright this, yeah this is the copyright everybody <laughs> um yeah, uh, so that's what I imagine is like the only safe option. Yeah, but in reality, I think honestly, I'm not excited to play venues again. Um, I think honest, like most of the time, unless you're a bigger artist, playing venues kind of sucks now. Yeah, and I'm more excited for playing house shows again. Mm. Um, yeah, there's like this like limit of like, oh, I, I want to play these like 300 cap rooms and have a load in, have a sound check. Yeah. But like you know, if you've noticed, even on that somersault tour, it like it went by really quickly. Yeah. But it was also so routine almost every show. Yeah. Where it's like we yeah. had like a schedule, and, and that is really nice. It but is nice, yeah. But I mean that that's like a different level. That's a different level. Yeah. For me, I feel like I'm mostly just trying to connect with the people who have connected with the art, yeah. the album already, and yeah. and share it with some new people, and um. It's probably going to happen in, like, house show context yeah. when things get going again. It's probably yeah. not going to be there. But, I mean, I don't know. I hate to say that because I would love to I would love to be at a, you know, a place where we can get a bunch of people yeah. in and, and really promote it. And I don't know. It's just hard to imagine people wanting to go out. I think that I would be down, but I don't think people want to yeah. – wouldn't want to go out. Like, yeah. I don't think people are going to want to go out for a long time. If there's, like, a show, if I see a show, I'm just like mm. – gotta think twice about that one yeah so it's and like, it's just a bummer i wouldn't want to ask people to come to a show and i don't want to be asked to come to a yeah show yeah right now not for a while yeah so we'll see maybe the, like the like the tupac coachella the hologram, hologram. maybe that's holo- the new standard do we need more holograms are we gonna yeah is it gonna we be the only holograms? hologram yeah I, that's yeah. what you're saying yeah yeah basically that'd be tight um yeah i don't know does that answer your question that's kind of that's kind of an answer. I think yeah, hologram, that's definitely an answer. hologram, hologram, clean room club, yeah, with your own oxygen supply, and uh, and like you can get flavored air. I think that should be a part of it, where you get yeah. like, you know, like apple flavored air, Ooh. or like citrus. Honestly, Ooh. if you're feeling crazy, like mint air, which That'd would be nice. burn. You think so? Right. Yeah. Probably mint if in it's your really lungs. Strong. Yeah. Oh fuck, that sounds crazy. But, you know, some freaks would be like, oh, mint air, give me that. Yeah, that's the ultimate. Uh, 
burn. <laughs> ultimate burn, yeah. The people who just like <laughs> like menthol cigarettes. <laughs> it's like finally all the all oh the menthol you can get. Yeah. I've been thinking about like reintegrating back into playing shows and and uh album versus single. Have you, you know, yeah. like do I drop this record or do I just drop yeah. this record in singles? Do I shoot yeah. every music video my fucking self? Like Yeah, I know. Wolfpack style, just fuck it. Free content for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's a hard question. I mean I don't know. I I mean, I like the I personally like the album as a format, but yeah. I don't know. Singles could be the way to go. I, I mean, feel like there's still a lot of people clinging on to the idea of the album, but yeah. I don't know if the if like the, me. Yeah. <laughs> lots of people I'm, I'm I've clinging. been lots of people I've been talking to still want to do albums. We still want to do albums, but like yeah. it's not really like that anymore. And yeah. I didn't listen to the advice I received 4 years ago. So yeah. maybe I'll listen to it now. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing singles. If anything it it'll be fun to hear. I mean, especially I think well, just with specifically your context yeah i think with those sound with those songs and the sound it's going to be exciting to hear whether it's an album or whether it's a single yeah because i think the sound of the songs is really nice and, mm -hmm. and different so i i don't know i'd say maybe the single dropping singles maybe dropping singles i know i know i don't know these are the things i think about yeah no i mean you these have are the things and there's no right or wrong answer <laughs> That's what makes it so hard. Have the uh, okay, so here's a question for you. Yeah. Have the YouTube holes. Like, you know, when you're just like on YouTube and you're just like deep dive. Yeah. Have they gotten deeper or weirder? Or is it just the same level of like random It's uh my YouTube's really weird, I guess. Not really weird. It's just very specific. It's like podcasts and like stand up stuff and Yeah. And uh gear talk gear talk so the gear talk has gotten weird like if you follow through those videos i've been watching for like gear like i watched like 20 videos just about this thing yeah i watched like 50 videos about that thing like yeah. you know and it's all the same dude saying the same stuff but yeah like, the same tone mm -hmm. um and next this is the uh gain <laughs> did you watch the you unboxing talk? videos too oh yeah <laughs> i love unboxing videos dude why is that so satisfying to watch them know. open it and it's brand new and you're like oh shit yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with and unboxing videos. And that's the record button. And when you turn that, <laughs> it's like it's kind of like ASMR, which yeah. I love. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I found um, a nice ASMR lane on YouTube. It's this dude. Okay. And because uh, my girlfriend just, uh, has just been telling me that it's sexual. You like ASMR because it's sexual. Is it? It's kind of because most of the girls who have big accounts are like kind of half naked. Uh, and they're okay. talking. What? That's like everything on social media. That's true. It's it's kind of sexual, but I found a guy, so I proved it wasn't sexual. Uh, or maybe doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know if that proves it's, anything. It's 2020. Yeah, like. that might not prove anything. But it's this dude, and uh, he cracks open like a bubbly, like a sparkling water, and he just talks about sports. Huh. Well, that's ASMR for you. Yeah. Like, that's your life. Right? Yeah, it felt good. Yeah. He's like, we're going to. We're gonna go. Did he talk about the Cowboys? He talks. He talked about the draft picks. Yeah. Oh my god. That I'm, gl <laughs> I'm glad you found that content. <laughs> it's like, wow, like, this is nope. suggested for me. Hmm. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, pretty accurate. Yeah, so I'll go to sleep now. <laughs> Put the headphones on. Pass out. Yeah. ASMR. Sports ASMR. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I saw Parasite. By the way. Oh, it's so good. It's really good. Yeah. How Not at all what I expected. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's. I don't think. If I've... you watch the trailer, it kind of makes it look like it's a comedy. Well, it's funny because it feels like comedic. Yeah, it is and it is in a way kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. But it's oh man, it was a weird movie. I mean, weird, and I say weird, not lightly. Like, and yeah. not like oh, that's a weird movie, like no, quirky. It was, but like, it was like actually kind of this weird. is like unsettling. Like, yeah, all the the mix of emotions that they put in this movie is like w deeply unsettling for yeah. a reason that I can't explain. Dude, did you watch Uncut Gems? No. That movie almost made me sick. Oh man. It's just like anxiety. Ooh. And I don't <laughs> I don't really get anxious. But that whole movie, like, cause it's all about gambling. 
Okay. And gambling alone kind of gives people anxiety. Oh. Cause, uh, and you kind of like, you like him. He's Adam Sandler. You, you like Adam Sandler. You want him to do well. Yeah. And he keeps like, anytime he wins money, he puts more in. And you're just like, dude, what are you fucking up, dude? Oh. And it's just like, it's like, oh my God. And he just, more people are getting mad at him. More and more people are getting mad at Ooh. him. And all climaxes at the end. You're like, oh my God, what the hell did I just watch? That's crazy. Yeah. That was like week one of quarantine for me. <laughs> Let's watch Uncut Gems. Week know? one. Week I know. One. Week. I want to. I want to hear about week one because, for me, week one was like everyone. Everyone in my house was home. Yeah. And there was a night where we just all watched like. That's nice. A snail on the window. Oh my. God. Like we all just were like ah ha ha the snail in the window. Ah, ha ha snail. This we're will so, all be over. We're so, we're so bored. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're exactly. so bored, guys. This will all be over. In a <laughs> yeah. Little bit. Exactly. Now there's Let's like have some a, wine. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, there was yeah. definitely there was definitely some wine. It totally. Yeah. Now. That that oh, that spirit op- is over. Opti- yeah, the optimism and spirit of week one went by, was gone. Maybe yeah. like the second month, going into the second month, you're like, okay, we're still doing this. I know. Okay, look at us. We're still talking about quarantine. God Even damn. Even though it. we said we Even weren't. Even though we said we to. weren't. Dude, it's like it's unavoidable. Wait, so you saw Parasite? Did you see the sex scene on the couch? Oh yes. I was trying to explain that scene <laughs> yeah, to you no, guys. Now dude. it makes sense. So yeah, that shit was crazy. That was one of the raunchiest sex scenes I've seen in a movie like ever. It was so graphic. Yeah, it was pretty graphic. Just it was just more than I thought I was gonna see. Oh, well that's to me that's how the movie felt. Like I was like, I didn't think I was gonna see all of this yeah in this movie. It's all over the place. Yeah. It's um man, and I feel like I, I feel like I'm still trying to unpack it. There's like so many little tidbits in there. Yeah. They really the, packed them in. And the house is so beautiful. The house is really nice. I know. Fuck. Yeah. I think you can you can't see the house, but like you could drive by it probably. Probably. Yeah. It's like a pilgrimage now. To go check oh, out is the, it? I think so. To go oh. check out the Parasite house. Did they let you into the... Oh, well, I won't say anything They probably don't let you in. <laughs> okay. If you haven't <laughs> seen it, if you, you haven't seen, seen it, it now, it's on Hulu now. It's I, easy, that's how it's, we watch it. It's easy yeah. to get. It's true. You have to see it by now. Yeah. I tweeted like... Ready. I tweeted, I was like, just watch Uncut Gems. Like, and somebody was like, barely? I'm like, Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I think barely like the, saw it. Sorry, I'm a little late. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely like I think the expectation now is people are just watching a lot of stuff. Oh, I know. Yeah, I thought I'd be watching more stuff, and I really haven't. I feel the same. Yeah, I'm like it's yeah. I don't know. Like the things that I told you I was working on, like that's kind of like all my time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you really get into it, like say I start around like 12, I get the itch. I pull out the piano. Yeah. Um, get a couple chords. Okay. Feeling it. Yeah. That ends up being like around 9, 10 p.m. I'm like almost done with it. Like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> my girlfriend hasn't heard from me in literally 11 hours. Yeah. So, yeah. And every time she calls, I'm just like, I just need like, a, I'll call you when I'm done. Like, I'm almost done. And I've spent so much time just trying to get everything right. Like, I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. Damn. The yeah. bass, all that shit. Yeah. The big drums. The fake drums. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which bass are you using? The P bass or the jazz bass? The jazz. Ooh, the, the jazz. The P bass is just there. Yeah? It's just there. Oh, dude. We got to do something with it. Yeah. Oh, it's such a thumpy sound. I had this idea of giving it back to the guy. Oh. Are you going to do I it? I bought that I bought that bass <laughs> I know. for the people on YouTube. I bought that bass off my friend who was addicted to drugs, and we were like Which 18. you did not realize you said. <laughs> <laughs> I, which I had no idea they were doing, and um, uh, he needed some money, and I was like, "Oh, I'll buy your bass off you, man. How much?" He's like, sixty bucks." I was like, "Okay." Oh man, so I bought too that bass low. for sixty bucks. It's a Squire, you know, Squire P, know. but still, they probably go known for like drug money. Yeah, sixty bucks is odd. <laughs> That's an odd amount for <laughs> That's a bass. A rather round number. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Three twenties, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can handle that. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. And I thought about just leaving because we live really close to each other. So I thought about just leaving it on his doorstep. Be like, hey, man. That would be nice. Here you go. <laughs> He's like, do you wait? Do you want to buy it back? <laughs> I kind of need that 60 bucks. <laughs> I need the 60 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, you did buy it fair and square. Like, I did. The deal's done. The Not deal's fair and done. square. And it's been, you know, what? I mean, really, life years? isn't fair and square. So like yeah. the fact that you have the base and someone else got money for that. To me, That's it's like deal. your base, but yeah, it, it's definitely my base. Yeah, I but she's sitting there in my room. You know, never touch. I say you turn it into a fretless. Or get fretless. Yeah, I, I, I think you turn it flat into ones. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know. Other than that, like, or just get a pick. Do have them do a all the pick punk bass, and then I uh, mute it with the my mute. hand. Like, yeah, that's, boom, boom, boom. that's the that's the secret sauce. And I'm just like, duh, duh, duh. I was putting a sock there. Yeah, but then uh, I, t- I stopped doing that. <laughs> Cherry style. Cherry style. <laughs> Whose sock yeah. was that that we used? Someone's sock. We did that with. <laughs> we did a lot. Someone's nasty sock, dude. We did that a lot on that record. Um, before that, uh, a sponge. We'd use a sponge, but oh yeah, sock was the first. Th- I do a tie too. Like whatever's there to dampen that. Tie. Yeah. Dampen that like. Yeah. That string noise. You know? Yeah. Um, Dang. That's so funny. But I found the thumb. I found the palm thing has been pretty Fine. good. Look, it sounds, the classic palm mute. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> it sounds good. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I feel like I've been feeling, well, Michael has been talking to me a lot about 6-8 recently. Mm. Like 6-8 is like a feeling. Takashi 6-9? <laughs> Takashi 6'8 He's been eight? talking to me a lot about Takashi 6'8 <laughs> Oh my god that's the worst joke <laughs> It's fine man No one judges on the uh, podcast Yeah it's true no one's here judging Yeah uh, except for the comment section Yeah it's just for the comments Yeah. Um, Takashi 6'8 dude oh, yeah. You got me That's too good Takashi 6'9 God damn it That um, guy so yeah, tell me more about six, oh eight. six eight. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we I got can, I got can, distracted no, by Takashi, no, but we're we not. Can, I don't think we should go there. We should actually go far away. <laughs> go from far that. away. Yeah. He is Mexican though. I, that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't do anything for me. No, I, I'm I'm good. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Yeah, six eight. Just like a, just the the feeling of it. Like yeah, it's not. I feel like there's not a lot of stuff that's six eight. That's true. Now. I don't know. Yeah, and that's what he was saying. A, it's like, yeah, a, I don't know. People don't really use it, and it feels really good. Like, and he was he's been showing me um, some songs and Los stuff. Santo that and listening. Johnny. Yeah, bum, 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 I know. Bum. That's the thing is that whole era of like romantic, yeah. like innocent music, all that being or innocent. You hear yeah. the way those people scream in those videos, man. That's not innocence. That's true. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like the the beat and that progression of the 1950s. Like. Yeah, it is. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, you know when America was great. Oh my God! Is that where you go? Is that ago. where you're going? Oh no, is that not where ninety years ago, seventy years ago. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. When it was pure and innocent. <laughs> when it was pure. <laughs> when America was really great, you know. You go on some crazy oh Trump rant God. right now. I know, right? That'd be insane. Oh my God! Imagine. Yeah. Imagine if right. that's when you found out. You're like, oh shit! You're like, dude, I, I actually I've been a <laughs> registered Republican for like a while now. Dude, you didn't know that? That didn't come up on tour. <laughs> No. Oh man. I felt I, really good. I felt like, really good in those states where South Carolina <laughs> that would usually feel really dangerous. Charleston. Right? So like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we were like in Charleston like I don't know, a month after there was like controversy. Wow. With like trying to take down the statues. Oh and yeah. And we just like, oh, it's like a nice place. <laughs> Dude. No idea. There's nah. like crazy shit going on. No, in there's that, state. that you can definitely tell. There's yeah, there's, there's, a, there's some there's tension. A, there's an energy in South Carolina, but yeah. I love the Carolinas, man. It's a great place. Yeah. Both, a lot of people love states. the Carolinas. Yeah. I don't think that's a hot take. Yeah, that's definitely not <laughs> I don't a hot think, take. I don't think I've brought anything new to the conversation <laughs> there. But, yeah, the <laughs> Carolinas are great. Carolinas are nice. Um, Man, I'm, yeah, I was hoping to be on the road this year, and I'm sad. We yeah. won't get to see this. Yeah, this we had two tours. Country. We had one, like, two-week, week and a half, and then the national just yeah. gone. Gone. I know. Well, they might happen next year, but I don't know. We'll see. They're supposed to happen in September, but I haven't. Yeah, heard, that's, I haven't heard that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. But I think it gives us time. It gives us time to like work on merch. Yeah, that's true. Releasing stuff, promoting stuff. Like it's a good time to release stuff because no one's doing anything. Yeah, it's I'm true. I'm afraid if we go back to normal, you'll just get lost in the shuffle again. You know. Yeah. But I know true. a lot of people who are on labels who got their shit pushed back. Yeah. And now everyone's gonna come out with a record in the summer. Really? That's kind of like July. Mm. Like everyone's shit's getting pushed back. So wow. It's just, the summer might be crazy for releases. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So I like the releases that I've I've been aware of recently. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's not as crazy. It's it's been yeah. maybe every once in a while someone puts out a single. Like I don't know. Yeah. There was a couple weeks. Uh, the week Eric dropped a single. There was like. Uh, glossies. There was like maybe three or four other songs on the platform. I was like, oh yeah, I know them. Oh really? But I mainly just go and listen to the people I know. Yeah, that's what's turned into. Like yeah. I listen to Eric's Hazel English. Like I liked her single. Field Medic put out I yeah. think, some new stuff. Like yeah, um, <laughs> just people we know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Jeremy put out his album. 
Yes, Jeremy put out stuff too. I saw yeah. his posts on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I got to listen to that, so I've been listening. It's to that. nice. Yeah, it's super nice. Um, yeah. Are you happy with the way you played on it? Yeah, listening back, I was like, oh man, I should have done more. But yeah. then listening, and then when I would think that about, oh no, I I put something in there that makes sense. Yeah. Or, um, and did it was you nice. get? Did you get like free? range to do whatever you want oh, on those yeah. tracks yeah, yeah yeah it was honestly such a nice experience recording with jeremy and i love jeremy's like everyone should go listen to it yeah. it's, it's really nice um uh it's um yeah just a really nice sounding album that's um, awesome but yeah uh we would we just kind of came together people who had never really played together um people he had kind of accumulated uh and we just met up in this old um, it's, uh, okay. Theater in like yeah. Eastern Oregon. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, it was, um, we had never played together and we just kind of like worked through the songs as a band. Cause they were all very like singer songwriter, just mm-hmm. like voice and guitar. And it was nice. Like we just kind of all felt the vibration. Yeah. And, that's cool. And came up with stuff and, and everyone was a really good player. So, um, I think it was, it was easy for us to just kind of, uh, make the songs kind of come alive as a band yeah it was fun and uh it was nice too because i was talking to jeremy and he's like oh yeah there's like these bass lines are like really like all the basses i play with they're like all these bass lines are really fun to play nice so yeah i was like good all right i'm glad (laughs) because i don't know sometimes you don't know like you think you did yeah i'm like am i doing good and then especially if no one's saying anything (laughs) and no one ever says anything yeah bass lines it's just like well you know here we are this is it yeah um, but no, it was a really great experience, and um, and it turned out super nice. Like, That's awesome. Again, like the album, like he put out an album, like a whole album, and it was a long time in the making. Um, so, and it just like the whole album flows really nicely, which mm. for me it's like I love an album that flows. Nicely, yeah, like, end to end, you know, like you get to hear the whole thing. Um, so yeah, uh, that was that was awesome. I was glad to see that that came out like during this time because that's cool. Yeah, I mean, I was still. Was he it. sitting on it for a while? Do you know? Yeah, uh, it was a bit. Yeah. Um, I think. When did you guys record? Over it? a year. Yeah. 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 Or no, it might have been like. I think it. No, I think it was over a year. Hmm. I want to say it was over a year. Might have been just over. Yeah. But yeah. So I guess I don't know. Is that a long time? That's kind of. No. Nah. I, I sit on. I sit on records for like a year. I feel like it's standard. Yeah, six months, a year, or something, just to see if like anyone wants it. And yeah. Then, you know, yeah. <laughs> you then you I get know. nothing, and you're like, all right, time, right, to, put time, this, to, put time to put it on my own. Then, uh, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, I think um, I'm curious to see if people's like timeline shortens too for releases. Like, if they're gonna start putting stuff out faster or like closer to the creation of it, or or it's probably gonna be you know artist by artist, but. Yeah, That's something I'm curious. Like about. independently or with labels? Um, no, independent artists. I, I think, think independent. Like, yeah, I think we're moving to like just singles and dropping them out as pos- fast as possible. Yeah, I think um, the labels are probably going to be a little bit slower. It's to be a little bit slower because you need to wait on the manufacturing. Yeah, like who knows what vinyl manufacturing is like right now? I know. I was thinking about that because I wanted to get I want to get stuff printed for um for your love. Yeah, and who knows if there's weights right now because nobody's there yeah but like also oh, but that seems like, like a pretty socially distant job yeah just go in like it's only a couple nerdy dudes like yeah I mean, women yeah uh, we don't know i don't know i've never actually but i assume from what i've seen online is that it seems like it's a kind of a boring process yeah where it's right. like machines are doing a lot of it and yeah. you're just it's kind of there yeah yeah jeremy said though that his uh his records were delayed because of everything really yeah 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 so that could have been a big part of it too yeah yeah um but yeah so usually release is kind of built around uh the manufacturing date yeah because if you're gonna get pre-orders like it needs to be ready yeah <laughs> you know I yeah know. and shipped out by that date yep. yeah damn crazy something to think about something to think about yeah. i know really but yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i've been thinking about a lot of different stuff man i really don't know what to do with this next record and yeah uh, i know because yours like it's done. it's done. I just need like, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I could drop the singles because I can, I can repurpose my disposables as art and, you know, pop them in the Photoshop and get some nice fonts and just fuck it really yeah. quick and easy. Yeah. Um, 
But to do like a nice album art, like I think I'd want somebody to do that, you know? Yeah, totally. I think it's, yeah, I think it's smart. Do some some singles and then once the album feels more. Yeah, Brother Sports, I'm talking to them next week, but uh, it seems like they just dropped like six singles and made an EP. Oh, that's cool. Here's the EP. It's our six singles that we had already putting out, but. I don't know. I guess I'll find more about that. I'm going to ask them my questions yeah. about that because I wonder what that yeah. idea was like. Yeah. Damn. It's a life, man. It's a whole life. The rock and roll lifestyle. <laughs> uh, so how many how many songs have you, are you, where are you at now with writing the next project? Um. So yeah, there's like, in terms of what I had kind of imagined for next releases. Yeah. I had some stuff in mind before all this shit went down. Um, I wanted to record sweat and that was, uh, that I think is on hold for now. Yeah. Um, what? Just cause it's, it doesn't, I don't know. The timing doesn't feel right. Mm. And I just can't figure out how I want it to sound. Yeah. I know what we play it like live. Yeah. Um, and I just can't figure out what I want it to sound like. Hmm. Um, I think I want it to sound different from like some of the recordings we've done with it already. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I don't know what it is and I, I kind of just have to figure that out (laughs) before like I move forward. Um, so yeah, that's kind of on hold. These new songs that I've been writing, um, I really like them and they sound good. Um, so who knows? Those might be the next release. I might write something like tomorrow that, yeah. Is the next release. Like, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a time where I'm, I'm not, I think that there's re- g- generally, I think that right now there's a kind of push to produce content. Yeah. And this is something I think I saw on Twitter where someone was like, Oh, like everyone's at home just saying like, entertain me. Yeah. And I don't feel the need to, to entertain, to entertain, I mm-hmm. guess. Like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's bad. Yeah. If, if maybe if I had an agent, they'd be like, no, you should do that. But, yeah. But to me, like in terms of what I want to make and what I want to bring to the table, I'm not trying to like rush through something just so people can be entertained. Like, yeah, I'm trying to bring something that's good. Um, and for me, like that has a few steps. So I'm trying to allow myself space right now, which for me, I feel lucky to have some space yeah. and time um, to let things kind of simmer. Um mm. Yeah, so that's kind of, I guess, instead of kind of like rushing to the table with the first thing that I make, yeah. I feel like I'm trying to, I'm trying to to not let myself get caught up in that because I really don't think that, like I think that this will all have an end. Time. Yeah, yeah, like it will end at some point, and then I don't want to look back and be like, ah, I kind of rushed through that stuff because because of the circumstances. Yeah, like, yeah, just like I'm gonna keep working on stuff how I, how I would have even if this wasn't um you know even if we aren't weren't quarantined and yeah. the whole world was shut down um but i guess i think i i don't know yeah i think that's that's <laughs> it i think that's <laughs> it about that <laughs> because yeah i yeah, could go on it's it's just that. you know trying to figure out what to do next yeah and what are we doing next and how can i do it remotely yeah, it really. It's kind of been like in music or in money. Yeah. Like, what what can I do and how can I do it remotely and can I get paid from doing it? Yeah. And, and just like yeah. figuring it out. I was talking with Michael too. It's really like the energy of sharing music with people in a live context. We were both talking about really missing that. Yeah. Like when you can be in a room and, and have, like people are reacting and stuff. So have I'm you sure. gone live on Instagram yet? I haven't. I haven't. Um, it's and pretty I, fun. It kind of feels like a show. I'm not going to lie. Really? I don't know. I, Maybe it's just for me. It's funny. Actually. I did it for a whole hour. So I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think for me, I'm going to, Michael and I are going to put something together for, because we can just do it from our house. Yes. So um, we, I, we had talked about doing something um, and setting up like a little, little stage. and Two like, separate phones. <laughs> Hear me out. One phone. And then you request Another phone, so it's split screen. Oh, of you and Michael. Oh, that's a good idea. Hopefully, it's synced, and the, I don't know how that would sound. I don't know how it would sound either. Yeah, if you get both of your phones, you set up yours, Rafa Rose, and then he requests, and then it's pointing at him on the drums or something, and it's just yeah. you two or something like that. That, that could, could be. be. That could. Be. 
Yeah, it could be yeah. cool. Um, yeah, maybe we'll play around with that. Yeah. I definitely do want to do something. I mean, um, this is actually like the first thing that I will probably put on the Instagram since last yeah. year. Yeah. Or no, well, maybe this the year. The shows? No, yeah, earlier. Did you this promote year. those shows? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, in February or something. Yeah. So I feel like I've been in kind of like dark mode, just doing my <laughs> own thing. Um, which, you know, I know there's still people out there like listening to the album. Like I see them listening to the album. Totally. So I, I do want to give them something else. Um, yeah. And, and you just want to keep the momentum going, you know? Yeah, for sure. So Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think we'll probably do that actually before the, the end of the month. Um, go, go live and perform some of the new songs. Yeah. New the, songs and... Songs we've grown to know and love. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because I do, I do want to. Uh, Michael and I can play these songs already. So, yeah. and he's got like a whole little setup, so he can be like triggering mm. samples and stuff. So, oh, that's cool. We'll see. Yeah. So, yeah. We're, we're, I think we're gonna play with the sound, but, um, but yeah, I'm excited for that. That's mm. gonna be nice. Yeah. I mean, it's like a little experiment. It so feels. I haven't it gone feels. Live, it kind of feels like a show, man. Yeah. Like I kind of wanted like a beer afterwards. I'm like, ooh, that yeah. feels good. I need like a beer or something like. <laughs> Someone to yeah. tell me six set, you know. <laughs> six set. Bro. Yeah, something like no that. No one to you bar know? your amp, though. Yeah, no one to bar <laughs> my amp. Uh, it, but it kind of feels like it. I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of fun. I only did one. Yeah. Because, I don't know, I think it's kind of annoying when people go live all the time. Oof. There was a lot of live early on. Yeah. There's a lot. Uh, you know? Yeah. Um, ben Gibbard, I think, is still going live. I think he goes live once a day. Ben. He can do it though. He can do it. He's he can do it. Gamer, he yeah. can. He can do it. Um, but uh, I definitely did the guy, the singer from the Ataris, he goes live oh. every day. Oh, that's every only day? only on Facebook. Okay, see, I'm not on Facebook. Yeah, that's kind of boomer vibes, but it's fine. It's boomer vibes. <laughs> I know, but that's. I mean, dude, the Ataris kind of boomer vibes. It's like punk boomer. Though. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of that like early 40s late 90s we grew up in the late 90s yeah, we love yeah. punk rock you know like the establishment 2000 <laughs> 2001 yeah 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 like the transition of golden voice to a massive like yes you know that like that, 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 that moment that moment yeah, yeah 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 to the to the promotional gods that they are today yes you know? yeah uh so. yeah very, you know the foundations some of the classic maybe like the first story not the foundations. yeah maybe like, like uh story. third story i don't know yeah, that pop punk movement that just yeah. took over Santa Barbara, you know. I know. I really want to. I hope that in in the coming months or years that there's more of like an underground here. Yeah, I want there to be like more of an underground here. I I think there will be more of an underground everywhere because our venues will close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, like unfortunately Ooh, I posted painful. actually posted about that Bella today. Got out early. <laughs> they got lucky. <laughs> yeah. Well, think about the guy who bought Velvet. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 The music alley, you know. Um, but I posted about that today. Like, you know, uh, I forgot N I V A S S O C or something like that. It's this organization trying to save. No. Oh, yeah. Independent I labels. did see that. Yeah. Um, independent uh, venues. Venues. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's a great thing going around that's because. Cool. There's money getting passed around to all these small businesses, but there's one business that's working on very small margins here. Yeah. It's living off of rental fees yeah. and the bar. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know? And and the rental fee kind of goes to the sound guy, door people. Yeah. A little bit goes to the house, but, like, the house is really banking on that bar when there's no venues. It's People yeah. lose their jobs, yeah. Yeah. It's I tough know. enough to open a venue, you know? Keep it open is even harder. Yeah. I know. And especially, I feel like, in this town, too. It's very Oh, it's Navarro for sure, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. I mean, everywhere, I'm sure. It's it's really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing with Soho, they have a kitchen. That's, like, their saving grace. Like, open that kitchen up, make it, like, a serious restaurant yeah. until this blows over. You, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Well, we'll see, I guess. That would be my advice, at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they should pay you $26,000 for that. <laughs> that little dude, tidbit. I'm ready, dude. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. Where did you hear that? They paid him twenty six thousand. Uh, I independent, I think. Really? Yeah, they announced his hiring. City development twenty six k. I just, might be wrong. It could be two hundred and sixty k, and I'm missing a zero. Oh God, I hope it's not two hundred and sixty. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's probably the excess money that they had to spend. <laughs> that was their stimulus. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. The stimmy. This little stimmy. A little stimmy. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Um. 
But yeah, just trying to think of how to be creative and how to adapt to these fucking weird times. Yeah, definitely weird times. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's... And what it means. What does it all mean? What does it mean to be an artist in the 2020, <laughs> the dawn of the new era? Yeah, the dawn of the new decade. Yeah. What a start. Shit. Um, yeah, the trick is uh, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I think there's no rules at this point. I think this, that's Because we've never, part. yeah, because yeah, we've no one's ever done this before. There's no rules. There's yeah. no right or wrong answers because no one has a single answer. <laughs> yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. And that's why, you know, when you get criticisms for how Gavin Newsom's running the state, it's like, dude, you don't know what's happening. He doesn't know. Like, none of us know what's We're just kind of figuring it out. Yeah. I definitely feel like right now there's a lot more just reaction. Yeah. People there's are getting like, in their feelings right now. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. I mean, hopefully but, people spend some time with themselves and just really, like, reflect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. But to bring it back towards mm. music is that, yeah. that I don't think there are rules um, with singles versus albums. Like, just fucking... Yeah. Do what feels right for the thing. Yeah. yeah. No no one's fucking with you. Fuck with yourself, you know? Fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Don't. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> if no one's fucking with you, go fuck yourself. <laughs> And just bet on yourself and kind of, you know, I don't know, man. Just going to drop this album. Just drop some fucking singles Dude, already. Coach, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, coach. <laughs> I miss my friend Eric. I know. <laughs> I know. He's stuck in Los I miss Angeles. A casual, I miss a casual trip down to China LA. Trying to LA, just, just like up. hit the studio or oh, do something weird. He has I a know. new place. I can't wait to see it. I know. Yeah. He sent me a picture of a car the other day dude he posted that on instagram i was like this is some rafa rose shit right here yeah and he was like oh i was gonna tag him (laughs) (laughs) he should have dude on brand respect how many accounts are you running now the razon Rizono, lorenzo yeah just two just those two that's a lot my alter ego and then my ego (laughs) oh shit (laughs) no i don't know i've been thinking a lot more about how i want to how i want to run shit your Cause social like, media? Yeah, I don't know. Because you've been you've been I'm pretty so, quiet. You've been silent been on silent. social media. Yeah, I've been silent on social media. I guess for me, I never feel bad about not having anything to say. And yeah. For me, it's more like I when I have something, I'll post like this. Like I'm gonna post about this. Yeah. Because this is like a thing that. Yeah. Like people can interact interact with. with yeah. Yeah. But I'm not gonna be like selfies of me at home. You know, like that's what it would be if I was posting right now. Like, hey guys, what's up, everybody? In the I'm studio, just cooking breakfast. You yeah. Like, oh. Although I have thought about doing, dude, cooking videos. You know who's been killing it? Who? Easy Cowboy. Oh, really? Yeah, he's been posting oh. like cocktail videos too. Okay. I've been making cocktails. It's pretty tight. Nice. I yeah. gotta check that out. And you know, he color grades his shit so nice. He always oh, has like a really? nice color grade. Yeah. Ooh. Even for his IG stuff. Ooh. I know. I talked to him about the other day. Really? Yeah. Dang. But yeah, his, his stuff work. looks good. Yeah. That's good. Um, yeah, no, I've thought about doing like just very basic cooking, like really, like almost like psycho, not psychedelic cooking, but kind of. Yeah. Where it's like there's no real talking. It's oh. just the sounds of the cooking. ASMR? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Wow, well, it it's just back. like the sound of the butter. It all comes back to ASMR. The sound of like, yeah. the, you know, whatever you put in the butter. Dude, hell yeah. First thing that came to mind was a tortilla. I don't super know. zoom lens. Yeah, super zoom. You see everything like bubbling. Yeah, that'd be tight. Yeah. But then I'm like, nah, I'm just hungry. I want to eat. Yeah. And then I just. I eat. think about that all the time. Like, I'm like, oh, I should film myself eating for like a mukbang or something. And I'm like, you know, yeah. what? I'm too hungry. Too hungry. To and then I just eat that. it. And I'm like, I'm gonna set the fucking camera right now just to I eat. I know. And then do I have to talk? And cooking also feels like very therapeutic for me. It is, yeah. So even though there's part of me that wants to do that, there's also another part of me that equally doesn't want that. That's true. So those two parts are fighting, and the one that doesn't want it is winning. That's true. But I think about it. I do it. If man. we're talking about creating content, we're just put it on TikTok. Put it on, <laughs> TikTok, put it on oh that. Grow, grow, grow. Yeah. Um, do you know what I realized about this camera? What? And that it has a setting for one and one, just the perfect square. Oh, nice. Dude, save, that was that would save me so much more time than anything. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I need this for YouTube. But like for yeah. other stuff, like yeah. Oh, it, the album's on YouTube now. I saw. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. The album's on YouTube. Which that is something that I did and didn't tell anybody. That's and I fine. was going to post about it, but then I'll Eric like, did the same thing with his album. Really? He put it all on YouTube. I subbed to everyone. Now, yeah. yeah. 
I sub deep. Let's just see what everyone's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's good. Yeah. Um, so that's probably something I'll tell people about too. But yeah, yeah. I'll tell them right now. Albums on YouTube. So. Oh yeah. Dude, I have a link, I, link right here. No, link below. Oh, right here. Click right here. <laughs> you gonna do that now for me? <laughs> Click right here. Yeah, for everyone on Spotify and yeah. who's listening to this. Yeah. yeah, that looks really good. <laughs> That'll look really good for them. Um, but I have a video idea for us. Okay, hit me. I want to hear. I it. have that Sam Barber compilation. Oh yes. We gotta listen to it. Oh, maybe I would talk love about it. To yeah. Listen. Yeah. We Maybe not like should. a podcast, but like an edited thing where we kind of just like yeah, song by song. Yeah, yeah. None of those songs will get claimed on no, YouTube, so it'd be awesome. Not. Yeah, yeah. I think we should. I mean, I'm curious, super curious to hear what that is. I'm. I only know one song because yeah. that's the only one on YouTube. And I was trying to find. Okay, it's on YouTube. There's one song on. I want to try. I want to try and find it. What's crazy is or that you should send it to me. I don't want to find it. You should just. Send oh, it to I me. can. I can. Uh, or did you send it to me? No. You should send it. Oh, the one song? It, the one yeah, song? Yeah, Raw Silk. Oh, Raw Silk. It was yeah. Raw Silk. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I worked an event with Raw Silk. Oh. I had no idea until oh. recently. I started looking at their photos, and then Richie commented on my post. He's like, oh, she's a great lady. I interviewed her, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, cool. Sounds good. And I looked at her per- personal profile page. I was like, oh, I know that woman. And we were at this event together in uh, Montecito, and I was DJing, and they were the live band. Oh. And I was sitting there just like waiting for my time to DJ and and they were just playing like Bobby Caldwell and Steely Dan. And I was like, oh, what cool. the hell? That's nice. And so when I actually got to hear their music, I was like, dude, this is sick. Wow. Ra- okay, Raw Silk. I'm going to look it up on YouTube. Yeah. Just so I can listen to it on the drive home. Yeah, Raw Silk. They're from Santa Barbara. I, th- I don't think they're originally from Santa Barbara, but they lived here in the 80s. But who is? I know. That's true. Yeah, but I think they still live <laughs> All here. All the OG lokes. All the OGs like me. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Uh, it's like Lose Control or something like that. It's the track name. Lose Control? I think. That makes sense. But yeah, we could like, I don't know. No, that's Silk. Raw Silk. Raw Silk. I don't know what the track name is called. Silk Lose Control looks like kind of like a boy band. Yeah. Thing. That's no, Raw Silk. Before they turn it into like Do a it shirt. to the music? I don't know. Just in time? No. Are you looking at live videos of them? No, I'm... Wow. I don't Type know in I'm Raw Silk at. Santa Barbara. <laughs> okay, Santa Barbara. Sorry. I gotta do this now, otherwise... You'll forget. It's definitely in a text. Somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I already listened to it. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so that was crazy to put two and two together. I was like, oh, I know this woman. That's Because nice. she came up to me. She's like, I love your Barbara. selection. And I was like, oh, yeah. It's yeah. Nice. But now I look back. I'm like, holy crap. I'm like obsessed with your band now. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice. Now you can hit her up. Yeah. We should do I want to do it. I do. I want to do it. I would love we should to do, do a re-release because release, that dude. would be cool. I really want to see if they have more. Give me more tracks that you recorded yeah. in the 80s. And like, yeah. we'll just make that record and put it out. Honestly, dude, I think it should even just be a like, single. Of that one track? One track. Maybe another track. And then instrumental. Yeah, on the other side. Yeah, I if wonder. If, if I wonder like if they have it. Yeah, yeah. They probably oh, yeah. do. They're they're nerds like that. They probably have all that stuff somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the original files. The files, dude. You mean the tapes? The actual master <laughs> tapes. <laughs> they don't have files. Dude. I know, What's dude. A file? What's a file in the eighties? A literal file? Like a Manila? Fi- like a, file. a Manila folder with a roll of tape? Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it is. That's crazy. Yeah. So it's just like I think that could be a good video for us. Um, yeah, I'm down. We should do it because yeah. That's, um, well, it's funny. I saw that you posted on Instagram and, uh, what's the other group? Uh, Vinylistics. Vinylistics. I've been slow, right? History. Yeah. And it is. It is. Yeah. There's There's three compilations. That's crazy. I want to hear the metal one. Yes. I I posted it on Twitter and the guy who mixed the new Dante record, he missed my first record. Yeah. Uh, Patrick Hate. He was like, I have all three of those. Oh, like, he does? What? He's like, yeah, I just took them off Discogs because I'm not going to the, uh, mail anytime soon oh. he's like i was like dude i'll buy the other ones off you i just because i just purchased yeah. the one i bought Ooh, that's cool so he has all three so he's down to he's like the metal two? one's insane <laughs> insane There's, like good or bad i don't know he just said it's insane <laughs> i mean i bet it is yeah 80s metal in santa barbara i wonder who's on it i don't recognize any of these bands oh, man. the 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 kind of bands you kind of hear because i'm in an 80s santa barbara group just because i am i'm always looking for shit that we could re-release yeah um and I'm always like, listen, oh, I wonder if the, he- you know, Tearaways, you know. Yeah, right. Uh, the yeah. Tan. Yeah. 
five cool what like these random forgotten bands yeah there has to be something fucking in there you know there has uh, to be yeah. there has to be at least one track that's just like yeah. damn everyone slept on this i think we found it with raw silk really i think we found that's it, the like, one that everyone slept on yeah, i think cool. that's a I mean, track good. that everyone slept on and it would be fucking tight to re-release that okay yeah. cool yeah yeah i'm gonna listen to it, to but, it again today try to we should yeah try to think of a video idea of like how to showcase a song there's not going to be a lot of information, so we're, you know, we can just talk about our feelings about it or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, let the song play out, like, you know? Yeah. No interruptions, so people can just yeah. listen to it. Maybe and then it could talk just about be it. Uh, song by song, like a video for each song. And then yeah. Just, like the reaction. Yeah. A reacting video? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, wow, this song really slaps. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what any of these bands sound like. Ah, uh, man, I wonder. I'm hoping there's like some... Um, I hope, honestly... But my I hope first real here. six string. Oh, I hope there's some shit like that. Dude, that's like that kind of '80s. Yeah. Boom, gah, gah, oh, dude, I love that. Verb. I love the emotional but hard songs from the '80s. I hope there's stuff like that on. Yeah, there. me too. Yeah, me too. Because all the other stuff I've heard from Santa Barbara in the '80s was all very like British invasion, trying to sound like the Beatles. The Beatles. Yeah. Oh wow. Weird. Which is kind of cool, but like you know. Yeah. They all sounded like that. Yeah. They all wanted to be the Beatles. Yeah. And you talk to Spencer. Ooh, who's someone I should probably get on the podcast? Spencer the Gardener. Uh, who was in the tan like they were like b52s yeah. trying to be the beatles thing yeah oh cool yeah, yeah. so there's a lot of that in Santa Barbara. yeah that you should get them on the podcast i know i got to talk to them yeah social distancing i know you got to edit this so it looks like six feet <laughs> dude we're, we're, we're pretty <laughs> far dude i saw some tweet uh that was like six social distancing is hard for men because they've been lying that they're six feet like yeah most men lie that dude. they're six feet most, so they don't actually they actually did. don't know what six feet is most yeah. of them do, yeah. They don't know. Everyone's <laughs> like, oh yeah, this is close. <laughs> close this is six feet. Yeah, this is six feet. Oh man, I know. I mean, I'm actually like on on the money, six feet. And yeah. People tell me they're six feet, and I'm like, I'm, no, you're not. No, no, you're not. I'm six feet, and yeah. they're like, no, man, I just got. And I'm like, I don't even fight. I'm just like, your ego is, it's, it obviously needs. To you, be need, you, you need. You need. That. You need if six you foot. Need, if you you need six feet, way more I, than I. I'll do. give you. I will. I'll, I'll give you an inch. I'll give you. <laughs> well, if you give them an inch, you know they're gonna take, take a mile. Take a mile. Uh, uh, no. Y- yeah. I. I'm just like sure, man. I I'll give it to you. Like I'm not six feet. You're six feet. Yeah. yeah. You're really tall. You're fucking tall. Like, dude. I don't want to be this tall. This <laughs> is the This is how tall I am. <laughs> uh, I'm like. There was another comment there that was like, oh, and every 5'10 guy says they're 5'11. I was like, oh, that's me. Because <laughs> I don't know. I went to the doctor once. They told me I was 5'11. Just I went again. You, everyone. <laughs> they, hey, they told me one time I was 5'11, every other time 5'10, but I still tell people 5'11. It's in the books. Hey. It's there. It's written down. They, they wouldn't have told file. me it. <laughs> they wouldn't have told me that. Does the doctor lie? Yeah, no, dude, I used to stretch out so hard when they would test, like when I go to the doctor for a physical or something. There's All right, time to test your height. I'm just like, <clears throat> stretch like, do your best. Try to stretch out my neck in a way that like gives me an extra inch. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. You hear a pop? Like, I don't know. I think I'm too He's tall. Like you're fine. You're too tall. <laughs> you're too tall. <laughs> I know. I wanted to be six foot so bad. Wow, really? I don't know why that's so important to people. Not anymore. It's not important to me anymore. But like, yeah. growing up, I was like, dude, I really want to be like six four. Six four. That's that's. <laughs> I like wanted to be huge. Like a heart I wanted to be like an. Like, I wanted to be like an athlete. You know. Yeah, I guess. So. Yeah. Bigger, bigger. Your chances but, are better. Yeah, for sure. Being six four, yeah. two forty, yeah. be a monster. I'd love it. <laughs> I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> I'd be in the pros. Uh, what could have been? What could have been? <laughs> a little worth at, at work ethic. <laughs> that was the craziest thing. Like we had a friend on the football team in high school who was like. Five eight freshman year, he ended school like six something. Wow, huge milk, yeah, <laughs> vitamin D and milk. raw milk. Dude, I've been chowing on vitamin D lately. That's good. They've been saying that's really good, yeah. I mean, you know, for your immune system, and that's what's sun. like, you know, yeah, that's good, yeah. And they said 80% of uh patients in the icu were vitamin d deficient oh wow with really? corona, okay yeah. yeah that's crazy so i've been I mean, I actually, popping in those supplements i bought some mushrooms today that's good mushrooms, mushrooms? high in vitamin d oh and eggs and eggs okay yeah wow, good to know everything else is like meat and fish and yeah I mean, and, you, you and don't do that i don't really do a lot of that stuff yeah that's crazy and uh milk i'm not doing regular course, milk, milk yeah. yeah um but they said the sun's better than anything really yeah 
So the sun is. That's what Doctor like Rhonda cool. Patrick on Joe Rogan said the so other day. So like the episode of Wife Swap where the woman who only like eats the sun. Yeah. Who goes to like the you know the rural family that shoots deer for dinner. Yeah, like, yeah. That episode like there's she was onto something. something to that. Yeah. Okay. But what about the anal? Uh, have you seen heard about the anal like sunbathing? Now I've heard of that, but. Do I know anything about it's that? Like you, Other than that, no, I don't. You I don't can go know to like you know, let's say, <laughs> let's say if we find you at a lizard's mouth, you know, ass up, spread cheeks, <laughs> sunshine going straight to your asshole. I think that sounds dangerous. Like it's you healthy, they say it's super healthy. Sunscreen on your on your hole. Lep- apply it. <laughs> yeah, so well, it's supposed to be uh, very healthy. I don't know. I wouldn't do it, but I wouldn't. Sounds I don't cool. Think I would do it. Sounds pretty cool. That sounds like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'd do it. I mean, I'd, I got enough time feel like this in this quarantine. Yeah, I would do it. I, I got, got enough time. time. Yeah. I think I'll try it once. I'm like open to anything now because of this quarantine. Yeah. Really? Almost. <laughs> Almost? <laughs> Just picking your favorite things? <laughs> <laughs> like almond M&Ms. I got time. I'll try them. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that, you know. What a what a fucking stretch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, almond M and M's, dude. That's uh, I'm down. That's risky. Yeah, man. The peanut is so classic. It's so classic. You can't mess with that. Tour. Gas station snack. Peanut. What are you getting? Oh man, I. I think I usually try to get like a salty snack. Yeah, I'm usually not the sweet snack kind of guy. Yeah, so I need like like ruffles chips or something really or like oh man i i think just chips yeah you usually just go a nice salty chip yeah the thing with the bag of chips is that when it's done i'm like oh i can't believe i eat all those chips yeah and now that i don't have any chips i wish i had chips right now yeah and also well how big of a bag of chips are you getting dude sometimes i would get too big of a bag and that's and then it's like yeah then you just munch on it for the next couple days in the van although the spicy i would get the spicy stuff too those takis takis i got takis yeah yeah i just can't can't deny that (sighs) they're just too good (sighs) yeah but um i don't like the way hot cheetos make my molars feel it's you should you know when when they kind of when they kind (laughs) of when they kind of build up because you haven't like done a good like or drank anything (laughs) And they're just kind of building. Yeah. Because oh, you're nasty, Dangerous, you know, because yeah. you're an <laughs> animal. You don't yeah. know how to eat, you know. You don't have a toothpick. Mm-hmm. You're not going to use your fingernails. You're in the van. Yeah. Like the boys. <laughs> the boys. The boys in the van. Oh, man. Yeah. I I don't know. I think Hot Cheetos is definitely on the list, too. Yeah. But uh, I think sunflower seeds is like if I'm driving, I, I'll get the sunflower seeds. Oh, yeah. Seeds. Yeah. Yeah. I miss driving, man. <laughs> I know. I feel like I haven't. We drove to this park and it felt good. I was yeah. like, "Oh, I'm outside." I know. I didn't take the freeway. I was just like, "I'm just gonna enjoy my." Yeah, totally. Going slower. Yeah, it's nice. Driving, <sighs> driving birthdays have become a thing now. Mm. Have you seen that? Driving birthdays. Driving birthdays. Where people just go drive. Like it's somebody's birthday, and all their friends get in their cars and they drive around like honk them horns. There was a, that's actually, crazy. You haven't seen this? No, dude. There was a a really, really big, serious birth driving birthday that came through my very sleepy neighborhood. It's like a Whoa. Cul-de-sac, yeah. Right? Like why would you go down to a dead end? But it's like it was a bunch of like sports cars. Whoa. And they were just like, Wow. I thought it was airplane. I thought they were Yeah, like, you thought, you know, oh shit. The end was coming, like, dude, like they were Oh shit, the North jet, Korea, the they're jets. here. Yeah, they're here. Run outside and yeah, just yeah. Some sports cars uh so yeah you know that's, that's like so the weird. most interesting thing that happened on my street this whole time you think you i hear that because i'm pretty close <laughs> to like a main drag yeah i'm surprised that you haven't seen that. yeah that's funny that's crazy yeah but it's a thing driving birthdays that's crazy i mean you got zoom something. party birthdays zoom party birthdays i've heard of that yeah yeah zoom dj sets like where everyone just like tunes in and parties my Might friend well. who like goes to burning man was telling me about that oh like all the burning people burning man people are the like, burners all the burners yeah i guess i should refer to them by the, <laughs> the, the official name their preferred pronoun <laughs> <laughs> um yeah the the burners getting together and just you know hanging out on the internet i mean like everybody else yeah hanging out on the internet i think i hope that like people realize now like the internet should always just be like open access open you access can't, you can't close that down no yeah, 
we need the internet. We need a free public internet. <laughs> we need a yeah. free public internet. Yeah. Um, we just need another option besides Cox. That if is you want to get very re- real. real. If you want to get real. Why is like that, that, that shut goes this down? They're gonna take this off of YouTube. Whatever. Take uh, this down. This goes for like any city though. Like if your only option is Direct TV or your your only option is a Dish or whatever. You know. It's yeah. Like, I know. I can't remember the other fucking ones. I can't remember Spectrum. I think I had Spectrum when I was living in LA. Yeah. I don't know. You're just limited. Yeah. It fucking sucks. I know. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. It's crazy. It's just, crazy. once again, finding ways to get creative, to see people. I'm, like, FaceTiming more than ever now. Like, Jenny yeah. and I FaceTime all the time now. Yeah. Which is something I never did. Yep. Wow, really? But I find myself just, like, staring at myself in the FaceTime. I think I think everyone does that more than really? anyone wants to admit. Okay. Yeah. I oh, do yeah. that. I, do, I, think I only ashamed. look at myself. Yeah. I think everyone's ashamed to say that they're doing that. But I think I see people's eyes in these mm-hmm. videos. And, like, I'm doing it, too. Everyone's just looking at the little... Yeah, box. of themselves. Of themselves, and it's like just to make sure I don't look bad. I think or that's, like, yeah, but she, you know, they don't care. Yeah, I, don't I know think they care, but it still feels strange. Yeah, you're still like, uh, am I doing this right? Yeah, because you're on camera. Yeah, so so you, uh, yeah, it's true. I don't know. The pressure is there. <laughs> it's sucking out your soul. It's like the podcast, you know. It's like as soon as you turn that thing on, people get weird. Yeah. They totally. change. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. They're like, what? Oh, uh, they like stare at it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know. I uh. still feel like I have a bit of a filter too, because I'm used to having to make stuff for the radio. So yeah. It's like, I cannot say whatever the fuck I want on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. Know? But here I can. Yeah. You can say whatever Super you want. Super nice. Yeah. Um, did you see Rogan's moving to Spotify? I did see that. hundred mil. A hundred mil. I think it's crazy. What I feel is that everyone in the chaos is making moves to change things up so that when things come back, yeah, they're in a better position to make money. Like yeah. that's what I feel like every all the big, big, big movers and shakers are doing. Yeah, they're just like, oh, that's fine. We don't need money anyway, yeah. so we're just gonna learn. We're just gonna figure out how to make more leverage ourselves into better situations. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, which I think it's good. Like shake things up a bit. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, you know, whether or not I, they, sh- yeah. I my opinion. Which he hasn't really given a lot of information on, but like I think it really does come down to YouTube and the way YouTube has been flagging content. Yeah. Like, um, you know, it's been pretty unfair for some people. Like, example, like Tim Heidecker, mm-hmm. um, he I guess accidentally posted like a couple of seconds of a popular song and his shit got flagged. Oh wow. Well, whereas. Really- you could put unlimited clips of Tim and of literally his show that he created on YouTube and those things will get taken down. Yeah. So it's like, where are we, where are we at here? Yeah. I know. I mean, YouTube's kind of old now. Yeah, man. For like, it's like 15, even tech. more. It's before Facebook. It was like pre Facebook. It was on MySpace. Yeah. That's when I first saw YouTube was on MySpace. Yeah. People sharing it's MySpace. 2005, clips. I think. Cause you can embed. It uh-huh. came with the embed code. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, if YouTube we'll stays relevant. If YouTube. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm ready. I'm ready <laughs> for what happens. Take me to the next one. Dude, it looks. What about co- Twitch? What about Twitch? I know, man. I got to figure out. I'm trying to, I don't know. I need, like, gear. I know. I still need, like, hundreds of dollars of gear. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, like, at least a capture card, which is going to be, like, a couple hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. I know. Dude. Oh. And then, like, something to connect that, that camera in. Yeah. Yeah. That's a struggle in itself. Right. Yeah. You should just film the screen, dude. You need a capture card. It's all about the personality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Is I got. I just gotta talk to Bobby. He knows, but every Dude, time yeah, I talk Bob's to him, he doesn't like give me any great advice. Just pay him to be your producer. Oh my god! Yeah, I, I know. Why can't I just go to his house and play his setup? Well, because you're in quarantine. Ah, motherfucker. That's why. Dude. Every time, that's man. the easy answer. <laughs> it's the answer for son of a bitch. I know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Man. Twitch. Yeah, and you can tip stuff. on Twitch, and yeah, you know you can make money. You make money on on Twitch, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I know. Yeah, uh, industries that have not been affected by quarantine, professional gaming. I'm guessing yeah. that it. They've actually probably been doing better. This is <laughs> the total, numbers are probably total up. Speculation. Yeah, but of course, I would imagine it's it's like esports probably are probably going nuts. You can still play it. They've been showing video games on ESPN. People playing Madden on ESPN. Celebrities Wait. playing Madden. But really? Yeah. Who's playing Madden? They had uh, I don't know, man. I didn't really watch any of it. That's the thing. It's like yeah. they put it on there, and I see the 
the promotion, but yeah. you know, Pat McAfee is a great uh, uh, ex football player turned personality now. That okay. I that I've been I've been watching his videos like every morning. Oh. He goes live on YouTube, but he's on Madden. He's playing. Madden. He there's yeah. He was like on a celebrity Madden. Oh, he tournament. was. Okay, okay. So, but you didn't watch that. I didn't watch any of that. I mean, I just wonder are they good? They weren't talking a lot because you kind of focus. You kind of like, get focused in the game. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Man. Yeah. For all the people who don't have Breath of the Wild, I feel like, like if I didn't have Breath of the Wild, I'd probably be watching Breath of the Wild videos. You think so? What I is Breath of the Wild? Breath of the Wild? Yeah. Zelda Breath of the Wild? Oh, it's a Zel- Zelda. Breath of the Wild. That's the the Zelda game on the Switch. That's I don't know. It's like <laughs> I didn't know. I know who Zelda is, and I didn't know the Zelda game was called Breath of the Wild. That's the yeah. That's yeah, the, that's like, the, the new open game. World. Oh, okay. It honestly feels like a more wholesome artsy version of GTA. Red Dead. Oh, Red Dead Redemption. I've never played Red Dead, so okay. I don't know. Because I know that one's like a big expanse of world where you can walk it around is, and yeah. do shit, and you get a horse in that one. Yeah, but yeah, yeah GTA is. Def- it's the GTA. exact opposite of GTA. <laughs> it is kind of yeah. the exact opposite, yeah. Um, but yeah, esports. I mean, I ho- I mean, I hope it's still going. Actually, I don't really care. Yeah, if it's man, going. it's going huge. It's huge. Yeah, I can't believe they're showing video games on ESPN. There's nothing. There's no sport. There's no sports. Yeah. We got you. Can't U- just shut the. Thing. We just got them? UFC back, uh, NASCAR, and golf. Are they going to be wearing masks? <laughs> UFC? No. <laughs> Brawling out, just bloody mass. Oh my god! Yeah, no. Uh, but UFC's back, NASCAR's back, golf is back. NASCAR's back? Yeah. Nobody's there watching though. They're just going in circles. Yeah. Well they're, they're just in circles alone. Which I feel like it's a nice analogy for yeah. like the times right now. You know, like just driving super fast in circles with <laughs> yeah. nobody watching. With nobody watching. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Oh my god. And then what else is back? Golf. Golf. Sanitize those. That's just you by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. They gotta. They gotta find a way to do something to get the real sports back. <laughs> the real sports, <laughs> like basketball and football. Like, yeah. yeah. What about the X Games? X Games mode. I don't know. Oh, dude, Tony Hawk is on Rogan today. Oh, I watched really? a little bit of it because they're they're re-releasing Tony Hawk One and Two. Oh, like remastered? For X- yeah. Oh. With new graphics and stuff. Oh, Same levels, crazy. new graphics, and now I'm like, shit, I'm gonna Same have to buy that now. Though? Yes. Okay, that's that's the important part. <laughs> I've I've watched a few interviews with Tony Hawk, and he's like explained how like important the soundtracks are. Yeah, that's just as important as like the game. Oh man, yeah. the soundtracks are amazing. Lagwagon, shout the lagwagon. Shout SP out the lagwagon, yeah. Um, it's just I, another sunny day. <laughs> or whatever the line is, that uh, song. Yeah, I don't remember. Dude, I know. So <laughs> I can't remember if that's Tony Hawk one or two. It might be one. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, oh man, dude, that was one of my favorite games. Really? Yeah, it's like the same Activision who also remastered all the Crash Bandicoot games. So I've just been as soon as I get Tony Hawk and Crash Bandicoot, I'm done. I don't need any more games. (laughs) I'm done unless they they do stopped in whatever ninety nine or whatever. Unless they do Tony Hawk Underground. Ah, see, and then you got that. me back. I didn't play that. That was the last one I bought. So that was like eighth mm. grade. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Video I games. Know. Video games. Yeah, no. I didn't the problem with video that. games is that like, I'll, I'm like, damn, I just spent like five hours playing games. It's yeah. a lot of time. Fuck. I could have done something else with this. You know, it's funny. This. I've, yeah. I know. Stardew Valley is like that. Yeah. Oh, I got Jenny on the Stardew Valley. You did? Yeah. Are you playing that now? No, she is. Oh, she is. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I, I stopped playing that game. Like, I got to a certain point. I was like, okay, like, I'm yeah. done. What do I keep doing? Yeah, what do I do? There's a lot to do. But yeah. There's not a lot that I wanted to do yeah. in that game. A lot of grinding. It's kind of a grind. Yeah. yeah. And, but I have friends who have, who have convinced me to pick it back up. But they have gone so far beyond oh, like, my God. what I even wanted to do. Yeah. And originally in the game like when i stopped playing like they passed that point so fast yeah and have just turned the farm into a massive massive well now like i don't even know like i haven't seen it for a few days or something yeah but it's already like l- way way oh my god crazier and they were just telling me all about it so it inspired me to buy some seeds 
They were saying that too. How yeah. they're like actually growing. Like my friend actually made wine that's because crazy. he was inspired by Stardew Valley. So I'm like, that's fine. Like a, a yeah. video game that inspires you to to do. My kale's almost ready. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah, it's grown. It's Wait. getting quick. Oh, it's it's been like it's been like two and a half months. Whoa! So you grew kale. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I well, I I like eating kale, right? Yeah, right. And I uh, like to go to Trader Joe's and buy their kale. Okay. But the lines at Trader Joe's have been stupid. So okay. I know a way around this. <laughs> I'll grow my own kale. What a hack. <laughs> hack the, <laughs> the long game hack. It's like, oh, food? You can make that. You can dude, that's that. that's like what the quarantine's like turned into, oh, dude. No. All these people on, on they're like, you know if you re put your uh celery root back into the it will grow like yeah motherfucker yeah that's how plants work that's how plants work <laughs> it's People so ridiculous like, oh, did you know that plants grow you know if you just replant that green onion it will grow more green onion like yeah man <laughs> that's why i think it's so funny it's just like everyone's like yeah oh we could be farmers oh. we could be farmers we could be farmers <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, so yeah i i've grown some some uh nice. red kale oh cool that i got from lassen's the seeds from lassen's nice yeah it grew really fast because it rained. I planted it right in the beginning oh, when it started raining. Perfect. So that rainwater, that's like the only only information I've retained from environmental horticulture is that rainwater is the best. Rainwater is the best. Yeah. And we don't get a lot of it here. So I planted it right the day before it rained and like it really sprouted quickly. Cool. And now it's like, you know, slow yeah. again. But yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a desert basically. So basically. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick though. I love the rain. I'm sad that it's not still raining, but it was raining for a bit for there. I didn't know people collect the rainwater and then they use that for their plants all year round. Now that That's crazy. Is but smart. Smart. And I should have done that. <laughs> you regretting it? Dude, now? my kale could have been done by now. Okay, I could have. Oh well. And now little things are it's eating. It's always next it. year. I know. Next oh, season. Oh no, things are eating it? Spray kind it of. with soapy water. Really? I think that helps. Yeah. I was just going to get some fucking pesticides, dude. You know, uh, big well, farmer style. You can do that, dude. <laughs> yeah, hit up Monsanto. I hear they have some good ones. It works. Yeah, I hear it works. Yeah, I, heard, I, I want big kale, big <laughs> just leafy like, kale, just you know? Just like a, a single plant. I want like, all the GMOs. Yeah, yeah. Like literally every GMO, put it in there. Put it in there. Yeah. Already. Big ass just pieces of kale. One big, big piece, whole salad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a whole salad. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried like maybe my kale is done, but like because it's not like GMO'd out or whatever, it's not gonna grow anymore. That I think it's like. So like, you're saying like, I'm, I'm like I'm waiting for it to grow, but it's done, and I don't like know you're it. You're saying like you might be passing harvest time, possibly, Dude. because I'm used to just shit being ridiculously huge. Yeah. But who knows? I don't know. I don't know how long it's supposed to take. I'm like two and a half months Have you in. Tasted it? No. I, I mean, I yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's a couple leaves that are, like, looking really good. I feel like grab those leaves then. Yeah. What's the worst thing that could happen? I don't know, dude. I haven't, I've never done this before. <laughs> I've never done any of this before. Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly haven't grown kale either, so I, I'm not the person to listen to about That's how, to, how to do it. Soapy water, though. Well, that, yeah, <laughs> I was taught that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it works. Okay. Light soap. Maybe I'll try it. Spray it. Maybe I'll it's try it. to keep the bugs off. Can I inject it with like a steroid? Uh, like, how do you get the GMOs? What is GMO? What's a GMO? <laughs> and you go with the syringe. Yeah, with the syringe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Big leaves, dude. Big leaves. Just yeah. Roids. So yeah, that was like my get rich quick scheme to fuck over Trader Joe's and the establishment <laughs> is to grow my own kale. Fuck you guys! I'm never coming back here. I can do this shit on my own, Dad. <laughs> yeah. But you can't get the plastic packaging. Yeah, that's nice. The low. Mm-hmm. Kale for cooking. <laughs> Love that shit. Uh, I know. Yeah. I um, also feel like groceries have been getting more expensive. Really? Yeah. Damn. I don't know, dude. I spent like 100 bucks today. I feel like people are also buying more groceries. That's true. Like, I feel like, like I'm stocking for the future. I also feel like... I like to go once every like month and a half. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've been... I know. I do the same thing. Yeah. I went recently and I bought some alcohol. Like, I just bought... I bought all my groceries and then I bought some alcohol, too. Yeah. And the person at the front, obviously they were like, which store are you at? I was at Trader Joe's up oh. like Midtown, like, yeah. Uh, Delavina one. Yeah. 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 Waited in that line. I waited in the line. It wasn't that long. It was like six people or something. Hmm. To me, that wasn't that much. To me, that's a lot. 
I'm, I look I at that line. I'm like, no. Nope. Yeah, that's true. Um, I hate waiting. I know it sucks, but it was fast. So yeah. I, I was like in there, got all my stuff, grabbed like, you know, bottle of whiskey. Yeah. And she's the teller or not the teller, but the, um, cashier, the cashier yeah. and the bagging person are both like chatting with each other. And I like try to go up and they're like, no, stay back. So I stay back. And then they're, they're like commenting on all the things that I bought, <laughs> like each individual. No. One. And I'm like, and I'm there like in my mask, they have their masks on and they're just like ca- talking to me about every single grocery that I picked up. And I'm like, and you're like oh, yeah, I'm just trying to get this stuff and like leave. Oh like, my God. I'm trying to hang out here all day, <laughs> but they were fast. They were asking me about the alcohol and they're like, you they're like, drink this straight. Oh, you like to get fucked up on you? Think you're, you think you're cool because you get drunk? I was like, yeah. If yeah, I'm they're passing judgments on you now? Yeah, I know. You, I you like, think that's cool? You think it's okay to do that? Yeah. You don't think you have responsibilities? <laughs> Are you driving after this? <laughs> like, well, I haven't even drank it yet. <laughs> yeah, it's not even open. <laughs> you have it. Well, we'll call you an Uber. Yeah, yeah. No, they're like asking me how I'm going to drink it. And I realize they're probably just bored and trying yeah. to make a conversation. But, you know, after having a conversation about like every item, I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? We'll yeah. the alcohol. But then I was like, are people drinking more? And they're like, oh, yeah, people are buying so much alcohol. And I was like, that's crazy, man. I drank like bet. once this I've, whole quarantine. I know. Yeah. I bought that bottle and it's like unopened. <laughs> it's like, I don't feel like. I drank on my birthday. And then yeah, I had two beers birthday. with Richie at the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. I was like, anyway, grocery store. What a what a weird experience. Yeah, but also I felt like very boring. Like that's now exciting for me. Talking a trip about to the grocery, grocery store. store. Yeah, yeah, that's that's like big now. I'm like wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, how long have we been going? I don't know. Damn, how long have we been going? Hour and forty one minutes, dude. I think we should wrap it up. We should wrap it up. That's <laughs> like a. That's a that's a record. That's a record. That's a record. Really? Yeah. For sure. Wow. That's definitely the longest I've gone. Whoa. But we haven't seen each other in I know we haven't months. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Dang, that's like a really long movie. Not a really long movie. That's this is gonna be a pain in the ass to process. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. Dude. I'm gonna be sitting there cutting it on up. Adobe just like editing out every fuck. Oh my god. Hey. Now, imagine if you had to do that. That's someone's that's job. Some, that's someone's That's like job. podcast producer jobs. Yeah. yeah. Which I've applied for. <sighs> for a few. Uh yeah. We'll, we'll get there. I'm on it, man. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, yeah, okay, let's well, hell yeah. Up. Let's wrap it up, man. Uh, how can people help you out, man? How's the best way to support Rafa Rose right now? You know, honestly, um, just staying tuned. I don't have a lot going on right now that's new, um, but I will be putting out new songs, and I'll be um, probably getting some merch, setting up a web store, stuff yeah. like that. So um, following the Instagram is a good way to do it. Um, that's where I will be posting. And, uh, if you do like the album and you want to buy it, it's on Bandcamp, cool. um, which does offer an option to buy the album. Um, but it's also on the other, uh, streaming platforms. So honestly, just like if you haven't heard the album already, give it a listen. That's what I would say. Um, and if you like what you hear, you know, stay tuned in. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks man. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We are out of here. We out. Outie. It's getting dark. <laughs> <laughs>